Okay, as I was telling you, this non ELT, yeah, it works. Olga, okay. Olga, give us a minute. <laughs> Girl, do that dance again. <laughs> For Jew teacher, with the glasses or without the glasses? Well, which one do you like more? Do we have anyone coming in? Yeah, you're going. Oh, okay. okay, then. I'll see you. Mehran teacher, how are you? Fine, how are you? The end of the day, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was a very busy day. Yeah, how was it? I mean, was it the way you expected it to be? Yes. Today is portfolio day. actually nice and I'm walking to school um, so in the portfolio day um, we're going to review all of those topics that we have worked on with the kids uh, for me it's been like weather kindness tools for the job and uh, we're going to review them all through games um, individually in the presence of the parents The Showtime Books song. Who am I? I'm the part of my club. I play my pipe and turn the holes listen up. They do what I say. They do what I want. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. I'm the part. They will move into the lap book. You can come and show it, you know. And they're gonna speak about the seasons. They're gonna talk about what actually creates pollution. So what makes pollution? Uh, what makes pollution? The factory. Uh, the smoke. Then here they will talk about different seasons, different terrains, not seasons, different terrains like desert, mountain, the beach. Which one of these is a star? Not a plant. Sun. Yeah. Let's take the sun. stressful day. Uh, it is exciting. I am enjoying very much. I mean, all of us teachers, all of us are really excited to have our kids here. But let's say that um, that thought that the kid, you know, is standing up in front of you and might not know the answer to one of the questions can be a little bit overwhelming for, for both of you. I mean, with uh, one of the kids, I could actually feel it that he was shaking when I was asking questions. Thank you. 
Are you are you finished? Yes. With the whole thing. Yes. How yeah. was it? Uh, for me, since I have picked the talented ones, it was much easier than other colors. But mm -hmm. uh, still, some of the students got excited in front of their parents. Well, because we've been working on portfolio for literally two weeks, like every day, and I work with every student in class, uh, I had like high expectations and they did great actually. It's beyond my expectations because my students was were very, very perfect. And the day was good actually, but before this day I was so stressed. Yeah, why? Why were you stressed? I, because I thought my students are perfect as the way they are. I was afraid they might not show it to their parents. And, and had you experienced this portfolio before? Of course, actually this was uh, my eight or ninth portfolio oh, yeah. <laughs> every year. Yeah. Ah, so your experience, yeah. it was my first, that was why I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> I could do because no, of that. No. <laughs> okay. What is it? Okay, just like bar two has, right? Your best friend. Was it as you expected it to be? Yes, because it's been for six months we are working with them and I totally know about their capacity, about their performance and after speaking to them I really expected to have this kind of huge and talented. So you yourself were not stressed, maybe they cannot in, in tell the first student because that was my first time. Were, were you stressed? Um, sometimes, yeah, I feel stressed because when I ask the question and it takes a little bit time when they are thinking about the answer, you know, that minute. Yeah. And I said, okay, may I help you or not? <laughs> and then it goes on and okay, okay. As if they are my mm, sons and daughters, not yeah. my students. I, I feel as if like this. What do we say? Yeah. Hello? Some of them were kind of nervous, they couldn't understand my question or uh, because we were like not memorizing, we kind of did it every day, they skipped one question and for example if I asked one question, they were answering to the next upcoming question and it was awkward. Let me take a photo of you. Aren't you beautiful? We're trying to sound, um, you know, soft and excited, um, but but at the same time, the kid could feel that he was being evaluated. So um, portfolio day is actually supposed to show the parents that uh, this non-ELT method of ours, where we actually do stuff mostly with kids like making crafts or cooking together something which is uh, um, not grammar based at all like i never teach grammar in class that can actually work how did it work i mean can you tell us how exactly this portfolio thing works like you talk about the lab book uh yeah well we have a pr our presentation it's like general things like tell me about yourself, uh, the weather today, the temperature today, the season, they present their arts and crafts, they show what season uh, it's now, their <laughs> favorite seasons, and after that I ask about nature words, the colors. And what's um, your grade? I mean your kids third are grade. Huh, third, third grade. graders. Yeah, it's oh. All these topics are related to the things we've been done mm -hmm. okay the, the crafts yeah. right really, really not big but he was really ill he also get infected he was really absent in that a student okay. that student and he also has problems in talking in english like understanding english is a big really big issue for him 
and I know him for two years. Mm -hmm. And today he came, even though he was absent for a while, he was trying to talk in English, he was trying to say the things in English. Um, for example, here we have the germs, he knows these are the healthy foods teacher. Of course he didn't, he didn't make the sentence like, we should eat healthy food, but he said, these are healthy food teachers. So it was a big thing for him and for his family. Yeah, actually, in my opinion, you are right that in non-ELT, the feed is a lot yes. more than ELT, like yes. data. Mm -hmm. But it's a big time. For mm -hmm. me, it's a, it, it, it is a big time. Mm -hmm. You it, have to work hard. more mm -hmm. as a teacher and you have to be patient as a teacher. You, if you are talking about the foods, you have to take the food topic in every detailed way as you can, as much as you can. Hmm. This is what I believe. Mm -hmm. So so you think that doing crafts is not enough and not we enough. need to do more? No. We need to actually give them grammar, yeah. like... Uh, like maybe not grammar grammar, but still we need to have more materials rather than only arts and crafts. It's mm. not enough. I mean like, uh, let's say 10 hours of English a week is not enough. I mean like, okay, we're speaking English all the time, but it's not enough. Mm. We need to give them something to write, to read, you know, to mm. listen to, mm. and it's not enough. Yeah, I and, mean, and we're, yeah. In, we're living in Turkish speaking environment. Mm. Okay, this is kind, not kind. What's the action? Are they playing or are they shouting? Shouting. They are shouting. Making silly faces, is it kind or not? Not kind, kind. Okay, what are they doing here? Not kind, kind. What's the action? Are they dancing or are they sharing? Yeah, the base of the book uh, Blast Off book series um, is actually just crafts and uh, watching lots of videos, doing lots of um, activities, having lots of actions in class, which is actually my favorite. But because it is so new, um, I guess it can be really overwhelming sometimes. But I think so far we've, ha we've had really interesting cases. I mean, to tell the truth, I didn't know uh, how my kids would really um, perform in front of their parents. Uh, but the ones that have come so far to school, the ones that have stood up in front of me, answered my questions, it was amazing. I mean, really better than what I expected. The way I see my students, they were not memorizing it. They were speaking as the way we did in the lesson, even the facial expressions even the for example we had something about the food they were saying oh yummy food teacher because this is the way we do it in the lesson non-elt needs more environment for example when the child enters to the school she has to just think in english speak english with every single person around him or herself but unfortunately we have limited it only to the classrooms with the teachers and in some cases, we are so forced to speak in Turkish or lead them in Turkish, it is out of the non ELT method. And I think if we can handle it, as I told you, since they enter to the school until they go home, it would be the perfect. So it is your choice, it non ELT. Your choice, but under some certain circumstances. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think needs to be added, you said? Uh, like... for, from my perspective, we need to teach English to every single person who is working in this college. Huh, you think that everyone needs to speak English, exactly. not just English teachers? Every single person. Mm. For example, the man who stands in front of the door to greet them in English until the person who is giving them food. Actually, non ELT system is very. Um, I feel free actually in that system because you can teach everything. Hmm. Uh, they cannot relate it to be your course. For example, this week with our first grade, we're gonna learn um, layers of the earth. That was a big issue actually. But um, in ELT system, you need to give all of the, for example, school supplies. It is a book. <laughs> These are a little bit um, boring, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, in non-ELT system, 
I um, can add all of the actions, all of the games, all of the cutouts and handouts, and I'm free. I feel free with yeah, non reality system. Free. And I guess the, even the kids feel freer. Yeah, of course way. they can learn unconsciously. I think so. They mm -hmm. they feel they are not learning. They are playing. Okay, thank you. And do you like rainbows? Yes, what are your favorite colors? Okay. Now, you're going to listen to the sounds, show me the flashcards, and you're going to put them in these three categories, okay? Can you introduce the categories first to your daddy? Wild animal sounds, farm and pet animal sounds, and weather sounds. Wonderful! So listen to three sounds. Farm animals. Wonderful! I dare say that this non-ELT Yes, sometimes makes me feel frustrated, especially as Fatima said, it, when, when I need to find material, sometimes I'm like, what am I supposed to do today? Like, okay, uh, when it is about pollution, like one day I can go play this video, that video, talk about, I don't know, uh, for example, not using cars, driving cars. But then sometimes you need to work on this pollution for one whole week. So, um, sometimes I, I was lost. What am I supposed to do next? But then, um, as it is like two years for me that I am struggling with this, trying to come up with ideas, asking colleagues around and like uh, tr trying to become creative and read more about non-ELT, the more I understand and the more I learn about it, the more interested I become. <laughs> How are you, Virgil teacher? How is it going? It's good. Did you check our hearts? Yeah, I did actually. I was filming it right now. As you may have seen, I um, have had great talks with uh, primary teachers and all of them and have asked some questions about their experience. I can tell you that for me, it was an awesome experience. Um, they're gonna kill me, so I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Thank you very much. You so I'm gonna go much. to my students. Thank oh. you for being with me. No, I love you. <laughs> you just wanna go home, yeah, right? <laughs> That's awesome. Let's say goodbye. Bye bye. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, share it with your friends. And uh, if you still haven't tried non-ELT, I really recommend it to you. <laughs> goodbye.